percent success rate, including 17 fast breaks. One of the quickest players around. <laughs> well, a little uh, celebration. So the referees for today's match are from France. Twin sisters, Charlotte and Julie Bonaventura, who refereed the Women's World uh, Championship final in 2015 when Norway beat the Netherlands. And also the London 2012 Olympic final when again Norway won against Montenegro. And now time to introduce the officials. At the back is uh, Balas Sos, who is uh, from Hungary and is the IHF official, the main man in charge. So with the presentations made, it will be time for the national anthems. The Korea first. Now the national anthem of Norway. glimpse of uh, Marie Breivik, the previous trainer of the Norwegian team there in the lineup. I should mention also that the presentation made during the lineup was to Emily Anson, who's playing a 100th international today. Nice little touch there as they present flowers to her. The two teams know each other well, but haven't played each other since uh, the Olympic Games in London when uh, Norway beat the South Koreans 31-25 in the semi-final. Earlier in the competition, in the group stages, they battled a draw the last meeting in the World Championship, a win for Korea in 2009 at the World Championship. This is how the group looks. Korea at the bottom could move up and can still make it through to the semi-final while Norway are sitting in third place. There's very little separating the six teams. Top two finishes needed to be through to the semi-final. For the Koreans, well, they don't tend to uh, turn the bench too much. We'd expect to start with top scoring Ryu and hee Ming Yong and uh, Sim Hae in at the back with Shin Eun-jo, Kim Seung-hwa on the wings, and Kang Eun-hee at the line, while Pak Seung should be in goal. So Cheng Wong Kang, master tactician, real gentleman of the sport, hoping to uh, get another victory here in their good run. For Norway, Oftedal will be key and should start with Arnsen and potentially score ground at the back. Solberg is in good form on the left wing, but Herem provides a quick option well, Jakobsen should be the right wing choice with Brodset on the line and Silja Solberg in goal. Thorir Herges on the Icelander. 
in charge of the Norwegian team. And Ufterdal, who has scored 30 goals so far in the competition with a 67% success rate, 19 assists to the 20-year-old who plays for Dürer in Hungary. While well, this is the competition's top scorer, Un Piru. He's 29, plays in Paris for Paris 92 in the French League and has scored 53 goals in the competition. Top scorer by some way. So South Korea throw off this main round group one match here, the Women's Handball World Championships, playing from right to left in the all black strip against Norway in the white shirts and the navy shorts. They're in the Aquadome in Kumamoto. A win for Norway. We put them uh, almost a foot in the semi final, but this group is likely to go to the last day. Day off tomorrow, and then the final matches will be on Wednesday. And uh, mathematically, the Koreans can still do it. Indeed, even the Danes, there is one formula by which apparently they could get close, but uh, it requires a whole set of other results to go in a very specific way. But that's how close knit this group is. So, no surprise then for the uh, Koreans. Passive play has been called against them. No way through against this 6 0 defense by Norway. They've got about one pass left. This will be it. Well, almost on cue with all the passes used up on the passive play call. But Norway score quickly at the other end. Brot set. Lovely supply to her by Öfterdal. So coming up to two minutes played. Oh, surprise shot. They were expecting the pass to go back from Yi Ming Yong, the playmaker, but instead. She took the shot. Free throw. The last uh, Norwegian win, though, in a world championship uh, encounter between these two teams, 2007 in France, 35 24 on that occasion. But the most recent world championship encounter, that is 2009 in China, was a one goal win for the Koreans. Öfterdal, Skogran. Oh, intercepted, that was a poor pass. There's options on the right-hand side. Doesn't need them, but is beaten by the goalkeeper. Fantastic save by Celia Solberg. And an apology from Shin Unjo, the left winger, to the bench as she goes past. The impassive coach looks on. There was support over on the right-hand side. Slow things down, calm down. Ryu and he is saying the 29-year-old right back, veteran of the team, number 11, waiting on the far side for the moment. Oh, she's well and truly got a range early on here. It's Yi Ming Yong again, 28-year-old at a second world championship. Quick play, decent angle on the wing, good save. Pak Se Yong. End-to-end -end stuff, as you'd expect it, but can the Koreans maintain the momentum? Oh, lovely little change of direction, this time beaten. Second save by Solberg. And the Norwegians come streaming back. Öfterdal cut straight to the wing. There's not quite enough space there for the shot. And so they ease up again. Arnsen at the left-back position. Who's uh, being pressed into a bit more action than she may have thought she might get here in Japan after Veronica Christiansen, who would have been the starting left back, picked up a groin uh, injury. Long range shot under pressure, and uh, Ryu and he will get the uh, free throw. And it's a yellow card early on as well. Ryu and he, who's uh, such an amazing talent. Played for Busan for a while before moving to France. Absolute legend back in Korea. So, free throw and a yellow card for Skogran. 
The 3-1, the Koreans lead. Four and a half minutes played. Koreans have played at a relentless pace yesterday against the Serbians, but still came up short in the end. Of Tadal. Oh, superb play. Put away by Solberg. Sana Solberg, the sister of the goalkeeper. There was the uh, steal at the other end. Very good one, too, by Own. And the response at the other end as Solberg opens up a huge angle for the shot. Place for Esbjerg in Denmark. In fact, six of the Norwegians played their club handball in uh, Denmark, three in Hungary. Many of the others play for the same club, Christian San Voilit. Great shot under pressure, and that's saved. That's the easier, the three saves so far. For Celia Solberg, Hansen. Oh, cut through and beautifully done. Drops a wrist back. Class by Oftedal. And in the blink of an eye, Norway are back. And Chang, uh, Che Wong Kang is just not impressed on the bench. As expected, a 6-0 defence. The main threat is breakthroughs. They pull your defence apart with uh, quick interchanges on the line. That's good play. Penalty. Is it? No. It's only been given as a free throw. Two referees in contact via headset. And they seem to be talking. One was waving. Ball is loose, but picked up comfortably. Yi Ming Yong. Ball loose again. They play so quickly, sometimes it's hard to see him. <laughs> oh, my Lord, what a bullet. Hard to see if it's not too quick for them, but that was certainly too quick for Solberg in goal. That was just a blur. Shot taken. Bit too much of a rush there. Oh, what a shot by uh, Ryu and he that was earlier. They, um, they don't turn the bench enormously, the Koreans. They've got a eight or nine players around, one really more in a defensive role. That's come off a defender, that'll be a throw-in. And uh, Han Mi Sul does a fair bit of defensive work. But, uh, Kang Che Won was saying yesterday, yes, it is tiring on us because we're getting ready for the Olympics. It's a young squad. Oh, good save against Solberg. Fourth save. He's managed to stem the tide with a bit of help from her. That's a mistake. Break is on. Now four Norwegians back against the three Koreans. So uh, no way forwards there for Yi Ming Yong, who rightly pulls up and settles for the free throw. As the Han Mi Sul, the defense specialist, goes off. waiting in the uh, center on the line for uh, Korea. Line player moves across free briefly. Constantly trying to work around the line player. Oh, looking for a little Kempe there. Launch it, catch and throw before you land, but instead it's a break at the other end. And they level again. Thorin Hergerson approves as Oftedal goes off like a bullet. Second goal of the game for the Norwegian captain. Quick vision there by Arnsen, and a superbly delivered pass. That's good. Keep the coach happy. So, four, four, eight and a half minutes gone now. Long range shot, straight down the middle. Comfortable one that was, and an attempt to uh, palm the loose ball goes well wide. Anton of Tadal, much menacing at the left back position into the line. Lovely delivery, and the defence standing deep but left a huge gap behind him. The flag is out. Brock set the game, second goal of the game. Nice delivery in by Anton.
great play. And Brooks had putting uh, Norway in front. Look at the gap, no way through there. Yi Ming Yong, 28 year old, plays for Busan. Leading the Korean Championship at the moment. Here comes a big shot. I think he may have taken a uh, deflection off uh, defender, which took the sting out of it, but the long pass is intercepted. That was well played by Yi Yong. So, with you and he. up but uh, is struggling with uh, her shooting at the moment Tim Hayen oh gap opens up one hand big gap there Seoul City playmaker they're back level again five all that's gone through but that's going to be a sanction as well at two minutes uh, almost knew it. Hand me so little push there. In fact, a heave ho, frankly. That was rather crude challenge, to say the very least. Score ground managed to score, nevertheless. First goal for her. If looks could kill. So, Hand me so. Missed the last World Championships and played in 2015. Koreans did well to come through from the preliminary stage. Top of uh, what is dubbed as the toughest group in the competition. Looking to pass, nothing there. Featured the defending champions France and four other former World Champions, including the Koreans themselves. Germany, Denmark, and Brazil, and then Australia. He had a bit of a tough old time in there. Ah, oh, Hüftedal cuts right through everything. Three defenders. She just uh, sauntered around them for her third goal. Cuts towards the center, and they've clearly decided, let's uh, give them a taste of their own medicine early on here. And uh, take some pace to them and wear them out. They know they've only got really they're starting seven plus one or two, but uh, they're really going to be competitive at this level, and that's even by Kang Che Wong's own admission that the others are young players being developed for the future. Nevertheless, though, they still have aspirations at the Olympics, the Koreans looking for the line, much too closely marked, nothing given by the referees, cross pass, there's no one there. Skorgan lobs the ball high, very high, over Pak Se Young. And it's all one-way traffic. Is it going to be a team timeout? It is. And they've been tempted to say that the line player was being held, Kang and he. But the referee is giving nothing, and that was the result. Hedgerson. It has been plenty of pace in this game so far, with 13 goals in less than 13 minutes. So play resumes after the first team timeout of the game, and the uh, Koreans about to get back to full strength. They've taken their goalkeeper out, but uh, she's heading back in now. We uh, prefer to take players on one-to-one. -one. There was a time when the uh, Koreans gave away a lot in terms of height. 
It's uh, really no longer the case. They are shorter than the uh, Norwegians, 174 to 177 meters, but uh, not much in it. Into the wing, sucking in the defenders. Had to be very careful with uh, one player down under her feet. But very well taken by Solberg. Sana Solberg, that is, with her second goal. Dangerous for her and dangerous for the one underneath. Gap is just opening up relentlessly here. 5-5. Five, five. Has uh, suddenly become 9-5. Turnover, and it's just not quite going the Koreans' way at the moment. Norway come back, big angle there, and the goalkeeper really not covering them, and uh, they are coming thick and fast now. This is Malin Ona, 54-year-old from Christian Sand, straight over the head of the keeper. 79 kilometers an hour. Fans are happy. The perfect start for Norway. So five goals with that reply in four and a half minutes. Another yellow card for the Norwegians. It's Öftedal. Looking for the line, that's better. Finally, the line player gets a little bit of daylight. Kang on heat. Gets her first. Nice okay. service by uh, Ryu and he as well. No space on the wing there, they'll bring it back. We're midway through the first half now with Norway leading 10-6, courtesy of a 5-0 run in less than five minutes. Let's put them in control here. Scoreboard. Oh, nearly intercepted, but it's left a gap behind. Oh, clips off the post, the narrowest of margins, but it's good. And Celia Solberg again, or Sana Solberg rather. Sana Solberg. Sana Solberg. A lot of height. Solberg, good place for the uh, Danish champions, Esbjerg. He's got 25 goals for them this year. Patient build up. Good defending the Norwegians. A lot of mobility in this 6 0 defense. Covering across. They know the danger is up close. Free throw. Passive play, though, has been called against them. Six passes now to get a shot away. If you and he hesitated, and the moment she did, got closed down by the defence. Used up a couple of passes there. They're running out of options. They're looking tired. And that shot was so telegraphed, it's poor old Celia Solberg. Probably can't quite believe it went in. Took that long coming. It was a little bit of spin on it. It was cleverly done by Simhei in a wry smile. Could have put a postage stamp on that and sent it. Second goal of the game that was for Simhei in. Cuts out the uh, right backs, goes to the wing and gives a lot of time for Ona. Second goal for her, clever play, nice service across the court by Bakarud. Cut out centre and right back. And even though there was a defender close, Shin Unjo, she was completely caught off guard. Still a comfortable margin. Off the bar. That's picked up inside the area by uh, Bakarud. Silvia Solberg now on eight saves, a 53% save rate, getting a touch on that last ball. 
No way through there. They're just not really attacking with a huge amount of conviction, but more to the point, a lot of the Korean plays around players driving in and having someone follow you in and use the space, but they're going in, but the others aren't really following. And they're too far off, and that's an attacking foul now anyway. And it's a turnover. A bit of an elbow going in there as she went through. And uh, down goes Scorgan. So at the moment, the uh, three times world champions are looking comfortable. <laughs> Ball is loose, lovely quick pass down the court. That was class and put away by Sheen Unjo. Her first, but what a sublime delivery down the court from Ryu and he diagonally across. Had to be millimeter perfect into the wing. A little smother there, and that's uh, just taken away the chance for Camila Herem, who's come in on the far side on the left wing. Plays for Sola. One of the most experienced players, 237 internationals, Herem, 630 goals before this World Championship. Into the line. The defence is all moving forwards. There's no forward and back movement, and as Heidi Lurker comes on as well, wholesale changes being made by the Norwegians, just as they've done in previous games. And the gap is growing relentlessly. Lurker sporting a uh, rather fetching uh, black eye from, uh, I assume, yesterday's match, because she didn't have it at the start yesterday. Well, they finally found a way through. They're having to work uh, really, really hard for their goals here. Kim Seon Hua, the scorer. But as quickly as they scored, and the Norwegians are up caught very, very fast. Bakarud with her first of the game. <laughs> Has to be said, the uh, Koreans who play an extremely fast style of handball always start very strong, as France found out, and then it... Uh, they struggle to maintain the pace, but especially on this occasion, because the squad has quite a few new young players. No way through there for Yi Ming Yong. Solid defending by Bratzet. So did Hergas on the uh, Norwegian coach who. Uh, that's an attacking foul. Long pass out, comfortably cut out by Pak Se Jung, who saw that coming a mile away. Oh, interception. Herem. Puts the ball up down the centre, Vaud on her own. And poor old Pak Se Jung is left to manage that without any support. Vaud's 10th goal of these World Championships. Lovely steal by Camilla Herem, one of the quickest players on court. Well, certainly on the Norwegian side. 80 kilometres an hour, that shot. Well received. Herem, now Jakobsen, all going on court for the uh, Norwegians who turn the bench so that they can maintain a quick pace against the uh, Koreans. And uh, Voda congratulates herself on a good shove that gives away the free throw. I'm not quite so sure that uh, Jakobsen appreciates it. She was the winger next to her who got clattered on the chin. Quick pass out, oh, just beyond the outreached hand of Heidi Lucker. Back they come again for the shot. And it was actually stolen by the defence before it came through. And this has been played at a relentless pace. Ah, oh, Hoftedal! What a lovely supply to Heidi Lurker. Hoftedal, who plays it uh, Jure, together with Brutzet in Hungary, a club that Lurker played at for quite a while. Although Stadal has only just arrived there herself from uh, Ici Paris in the summer. 
Seven minutes to go in the first half, and the Norwegians are trampling all over South Korea here at the moment. They uh, lack their uh, quick interchanges. It's down to individual efforts, really, the uh, Korean attack. They're almost too tired to follow each other in. Good defending there by uh, Ryu and Hee against Anson. Anson uh, has not had a shot on goal yet, but... Uh, Played a part as Solberg is off uh, on the bench having a chat. Handles away back in as it's a free throw for, uh, well, penalty in fact for the Norwegians. So Uftedal will take it. She's scored 10 from 12 in the competition so far. Pak Se Jung has saved 2 from 13. Not that one though. And Uftedal scores her fourth goal of this match, her first penalty. Goalkeeper just going the wrong way. And the moment she committed to going that way, Uftedal just lobbed it the other down next to the standing leg. Superb play, Uftedal. Good response though. Yu So Chung. 11th goal of the competition into the wing. There's a decent angle here. Goalkeeper comes off the post, leaves it wide open, and uh, Marik Jakobsen helps herself. And once more, Uftedal with a superb supply. It's her seventh assist, Uftedal. Goes wide. Ryu and he is being rested now. Normally plays most of the game, the South Korean number 11, but uh, looking absolutely uh, ragged out there at the moment. Hence, uh, Yu So Chung has come in. Experienced, nevertheless, third world championship for uh, Yu So Chung. Jakobsen looking for the line. Ball's loose. Did well. Good save by Pak Se Jung, point blank from uh, Jakobsen. There's no one on the right wing. Yu So Chong looks there and eventually Kim Seong Kwa ambles over there. Number two. So we're well inside the last five minutes of the first half with Norway having a commanding lead here in Kumamoto. Long-range shot again, and they're all going wide at the moment. Yu Xiu Chong just can't frame them. Less than four minutes to go. And Marta Tomak has come on now. And immediately gets in on the action. 29-year-old. literally just stepped on four. Actually uh, played uh, Tomak for Croatia. 11 times, including at the European Championship in 2010. Got to Norwegian citizenship in 2015. So three and a half minutes to go. And uh, the Norwegians cruising here. Just no energy to take on uh, Jakobsen on the end there and go for that wing shot. There's a lot of passing, but not a lot of driving forwards, I'm afraid. Passive play has been called, and as has so often happened on their recent attacks, there's a lot of passing and then a long-range effort, which is uh, so symptomatic of uh, tired arms and legs. Just want to get rid of it. There really hasn't been a uh, truly cutting attack like we've seen them before, and we know they can do, the South Koreans. And the Norwegians. If they win here today, we'll uh, go top of the group tonight, ahead of the final round of games on Wednesday. And it means they would be in complete control of their fate as they uh, tee up for a match against Germany. South Korea, for their part, will next be up against the Netherlands, at least with a day off. That's gone wide.
Norwegians who had to qualify for these uh, World Championships uh, were up against Belarus in their playoff. Won quite comfortably, 65-49 on aggregate over the two legs. Well, Korea qualified as Asian champions, having won the uh, competition in December last year in Kumamoto, as it happens, but not in this arena. They would have had very wet feet otherwise. It's a swimming pool. Well, an injury there. A slap in the mouth for Kim Sora. Seems to be okay now. You can see how they're missing the opportunities. The wing just needed the ball. A quick snap pass to Kim Seung Hwa. They are so tired that these uh, movements, which would normally be so automatic to them in terms of opening up the space in the quick game, it is all about seizing the opportunity. And they are looking utterly drained. And for coach uh, Kang Che Won looking on now, he must be thinking, well, they just don't want to go in and take that punishment anymore. They're so tired. That's going to be a two minute suspension, though. Yi Mi Yong is kind of breaking the mold in terms of charging in and really uh, trying to take on the defenders. Oh, you hear Gerson. Didn't want that. So short-handed defense now, and maybe a chance for the Koreans looking for the wing. Oh, and it's given away. Luckily, the bounce comes back out again. They still have possession. Long-range shot. Good save. Eleventh of the game for Celia Solberg. And the uh, goalkeeper plays for Siofok in Hungary. Playing superbly. She's charged straight off while they're short-handed. They put on the extra attacker. Look at who's regularly being swapped with uh, Bratzett throughout these championships. Bathorin Hergerson. Eftedal is uh, been given a break for a little while as well. Glad to have a breather. Oh, and the goalkeeper didn't move, it just bounced off her arm, went straight in. Vorder gets a second goal. The Koreans come back quickly because it's such an automatic reflex to get the ball back quickly and take the throw off, but... Oh, and another save. Solberg's 12. Well, it's been a torrid old first half. This is how it finished. They were barely looking at the clock. Clipped off the leg. And so, at half time here in Kumamoto, the Norwegians are well in control. They are 20 10 up against South Korea. Well, the uh, Norwegians had a bit of a battle on their hands for the first few minutes. It was 3-3, then it was 5-5, then it was 10-5 to Norway, and then they just took off. And the uh, South Koreans are looking utterly exhausted out there. And uh, the Norwegians' tails are up. They are really enjoying this. And it's been one-way traffic. 65% of their attacks are succeeding the Norwegians and 73% of their shooting. The Koreans, 31% of the attacks, 36% of the shooting, way below par for them. They've managed just one fast break from three. I mean, it's not even a lot of fast breaks, full stop, never mind if you're converting them. They've been hit by six from the Norwegian side and had eight turnovers, the Koreans. Top scorers so far, well, twos and ones for the uh, Koreans, but uh, it's Öftedal who's got four goals. She's played a superb first half. She's also managed seven assists in that time. Solberg is behind her on three. And uh, some more twos and ones there for the Norwegians. Well, it was uh, it was tight at the beginning, but very very quickly it uh, it slipped away. So there's the uh, Koreans then uh, missing two of their fast breaks. The, the wings are getting absolutely no service. What they are getting is by pushing through. They've had one long range effort that's worked, and it was a bullet in fairness. But otherwise, the uh, close-up shots, but six from 16 at close range isn't good enough to win a match. Six fast breaks for the Norwegians, one penalty, and a very nice spread across all positions. Not so much maybe on the long-range shooting on the right-hand side, but in fairness, they haven't needed to. It's going in from everywhere else. So the uh, Koreans started the, uh, the game with a, a fair bit of pace. But we've seen it before, and you can see at the beginning, the Koreans are the black dots on top, a couple of goals, and then Norway wake up. And then it was tight, and then there was a very quick run of goals, three of them, 
in reality there was a 5-0 exchange there towards that uh, eighth minute onwards and then in that last 10 minutes one goal for the Koreans they have completely dried up they are exhausted so the break in Kumamoto it's Norway 20 South Korea 10 we'll take a break as well join us again for the second half we'll see you then
welcome back to the Aquadome in Kumamoto and half time in this group one main round match of the women's handball world championships and Norway are beating the South Koreans 2010 Osterdal there in the picture was uh, instrumental in that four goals from five attempts seven assists she's had a brilliant first half for the South Koreans they started briskly and uh, it was 5-5 at one point but uh, Kang Che Won has seen his team looking frankly exhausted out there and they've just lost their pace and uh, the Norwegians are running them off the park Solberg there's made 12 saves in the first half 55% save rate while uh, Pak Se Young has made four from 24 at the other end only so we're just about ready to get the second half underway couple more seconds and players getting carried away on the far side here we go then Norway throw off the second half leading 2010 against South Korea here in Kumamoto in this group one men round match I'm afraid the South Koreans just don't look like they have the legs left on them to uh, get a result out of this match they were hanging on for about 10 minutes, and I'm afraid since then the Norwegians have run them ragged. The Norwegians, of course, who have the uh, most fast breaks of any team at these World Championships. 50 scored, and they've uh, handed or well, added quite a few. Six, in fact, in the first half of this game alone. So, a mistake by the. Uh, Norwegian gives an opportunity as the gap opens up in front of them. And Lee Ming Young gets her third. There he was, just lobbed comfortably over the top. And Solberg a little bit annoyed with herself, but uh, it was a difficult one once he came forwards. So they started the second half with a uh, two minute suspension running over from the uh, first half, the Norwegians but uh, are now back to full strength as the South Koreans try and change the defense. They seem to be on a uh, 5 one now, individually marking Oftedal. It's given a chance for them to run away. They've got the rebound off the goalkeeper, and the break is on. That was a little bit of a speculative one, and very untidy. Very tired South Koreans. In the opening day against France, the passes were crisp. Everyone followed everyone else in. The idea was you create the gap and then you, uh, you're moving in alongside immediately to take advantage. Now I'm afraid that uh, cohesion gone somewhat after a tough game yesterday where they lost against Serbia, their first defeat for the South Koreans. Well, they smuggled that one in. Solberg uh, not looking too happy with that. going to be a free throw. Sim Hayin was the scorer. It was a third goal. 32-year-old left back who plays for Busan, the champions. Looking for the line, misconnection. Well, a uh, poor spell here by the Norwegians. Mignon comes back in again. Ryu and he gets the shot away. Free throw only. Comes up short against uh, Sanna Solberg. His sister is right behind her in goal. I should say twin sisters as well, and you've probably seen the likeness on the close-ups. Ryu and he, a bit of a gap now. Only a free throw. Which the referee was hoping with a defender inside, it might be a bit more. Came off a defender, that would be a throw in from the corner. Taking quick shots rather than trying to take the defenders off and get right in at six meters. And the pass is uh, a little bit looser as well from those tired arms. Defending inside the area, that's a penalty. Well won by Kang Eun Hee. Nice supply in as ever by Ryu Eun Hee. Three assists already uh, so far in the game. She's done very well indeed. 
So Yi Ming Yong, who scored five from seven in the competition so far. Ah, oh, puts it wide. Oh, nothing for Solberg to do there. And uh, all of this symptomatic of a tired team in need of their day off tomorrow. Scorgrand back on again at the right back position. Into the line, brilliantly played. Rodset. Third goal. Line players are getting excellent service here, but the defense is tired and another mistake, but they've managed to just keep possession. Three seconds to get rid of it. That was getting a bit tight for Yu So Chiong. You in here, little sidestep, that's more like it. Nice little goal there. Only her second of the game. Anson quickly into the wing. Good pass to the line. And uh, down goes uh, Marit Jakobsen, the right winger, who'd come round as an extra line player and got sandwiched between two Koreans. Well, it's a great way to make new friends, handball. So two minutes suspension for that last action for you, So Chung. Of Tadal, oh, clean breakthrough. Scorebrand third. There was so much room on the other side. Could have driven the bus through there. So we are coming up to six minutes played in the second half, and uh, the Koreans have taken out the goalkeeper while that suspension is running. Extra attacker is on. Oh, does well. She took the pace off the ball very slightly. Ryu and he. South Korea are actually outscoring the Norwegians 4 2 in this second half. All credit to them. We've got 50 seconds on the suspension, so the goalkeepers come out again. In comes number two, the bottom of the picture, Kim Seon Hwa. Right winger, is playing a fourth world championship, plays for Sugar Gliders in the Korean League. Currently fifth, but runners up last year. Lee Mig Yong in the center. Kang Eun Hee, the line player. Beacon in the center. But it uh, came all the way back, as ever, Yi Mi Young, industrious. Went across one way and then cut back again. Four goals for her. She actually played for a while in uh, Japan for the uh, Hiroshima Maple Reds. Number 23 for South Korea, Yi Mi Young. Maybe known locally. That's going to be a free throw. Some holding going on on Bratset. After that, he's back ominously for the Koreans. Anson, strong shot, but uh, not framed at all. He goes way over the top. Koreans are trying to inject a little bit of pace here. Looks for the line. Good play. Save. 13th save of the game for Solberg and a lovely long pass. It had to be inch perfect. Unfortunately, the finishing had to be inch perfect as well, but it wasn't by Jakobsen. Lovely long pass, cleared the defender and then put over the top. Ten goal lead being pegged back slowly, but. Uh, it's a long way back for the Koreans, but we have seen some amazing turnarounds. 
in these uh, championships. Ryu and he, and if she can find form like that as well, that will certainly help. She was very quiet in the first half. Just the uh, one goal, three now added in eight and a half minutes. Ryu and he, who scored 28 goals this season for uh, Paris, 92 in the French league. Going very deep on the defence when Oftedal comes back on again. She's individually marked. Yi Ming Yong is the one marking her, but uh, the Norwegians seem to have capacity to turn the bench, whereas Yi Ming Yong will just get even more exhausted than she already is. That's a sublime pass to the line, and Roxette, with a little flick of the wrist, spins the ball around Pak Se Jung in goal. That was class. Brilliant shot and well appreciated by the rest of the team. Oh, that's a welcome uh, goal for the Norwegians after three without reply from the Koreans. Ryu and he tries to go through into the line with powerful line player Kang and he. 23 years of age. She's uh, played in the last World Championships. She's 1 meter 86, 105 kilos. Dummies the shot. Oh, lovely pass, but well defended. As you and he seems to have eyes all round her head. The back flick, but in reality, the Norwegian defense was always tight around the line player. It's another save as we go past the 10 minute mark in the second half. Bakarud. Skogran. Norwegians patiently turning the bench and it doesn't break the momentum at all. Back on comes Malina Erna. After having a bit of a break at the start, scored a couple of goals in the first half. She's gone. All the way over into the far side wing. Solberg coming in on the line. Ah. After now, goal number five. Uh, Solberg was coming around to put a block on so she could go through, but uh, she didn't need to. Saw enough daylight to get that shot away. Sean has gone in on the line. Extra player there trying to pass in, though it's been intercepted. The Norwegians are on the break. After Dahl, right through the middle. Six goals for the captain. And your fifth world championship, nicely teed up there by Skogran. It's quite something that despite all the injuries that uh, the Norwegian team have suffered coming into these championships, they still average 87 internationals per player. They've got such uh, depth of quality that uh, they can still find players with all that experience. And that's a nice goal by the UNE. The locals appreciate that. She's on five goals now. Unlucky an interception, but it came back, bounced off the hands and came straight back out to Skogran. Small band of Norwegian fans on the far side making a lot of noise. Skogran looks to take it quickly. Oftedal is still being individually marked. That uh, got the sting taken out of it by a defender's hand. No. Norway is streaming back in defence, got back very quickly. Ryu and he looks up and uh, there's a wall of six defenders already back. So 
They're going to try and uh, throw caution to the wind. Now the goalkeeper's come out and they're attacking seven against six. Kang Che won. They've done it before. Gives you a power play every time, but uh, you run the risk if you don't score, of course, with the empty goal at the other end. Ryu and he to the line. That paid dividends very well indeed. Kim Sora, the other line player. He joined the Kang and he. Great defeat here will put pay to any chances whatsoever the South Korea would have of going through. Complained there from Shin Unjo that uh, Skogran was holding a shirt all the way in. Left to Dowell, there's quick changes of direction looking for the line, but it's uh, covered all the way. Long pass down the middle. Ah, oh, given away. It's a Korean ball. Uh, it's actually a free throw rather than a throw in, the referee says, for the shove beforehand. So we're at the midway point in the second half, and the Koreans have closed the gap very slightly while the Norwegians are turning the bench. We've got it back now to uh, seven goals, having been 10 down at half time. Well, closed it a little bit more. Lee Young is playing a big game out there. And that's a team timeout that's been called off the back of this goal as she leans across the defence. Team timeout for Norway. Hi. Mye mer grådige på ballkontrollene. Det gjelder alle. Ja. Ta tak på å styre det her nå. Her bak. Akkurat samme tingene som gjelder. På med arbeidsklærne og jobba. Og der oppe. Mye større ansvar for hver ballkontroll. Er det greit? Nå, du tok det. Vi kommer til å kvare til. Ok. Ha til, ha til. Så kan Che Won calling his first team timeout of the game. It's, uh, the Olympics always the big goal for the South Koreans, but uh, you look at this team, the difference, of course, with the Olympics is that they'll have uh, a rest day every other day, which we don't get here necessarily. There have been quite a few back-to-back -back games. It's a very deep defense. It's uh, effectively become a... Uh, 3-3, three, three. three players up front, but it's meaning a lot of gap at the back, and if they don't hold the players coming in, then there's a corridor for them to go through. Good uh, play, finally, by Pak se Young, but she gives uh, the ball out, having stepped outside her and is called back. Coming through there, Fosca. He's just come on, gets her first shot. Carried away by the uh, goalkeeper. That'll be uh, Pak Se Young's seventh save. Still on the modest 22% compared to the 42% for Solberg at the other end. But you and he. Looking for the line that was never going to get there, but uh, by some complete chance, Kang and he scoops up the loose ball. You and he. Oh, what a shot. She is a class act. Top scorer in the competition. Added six, but before they could get the keeper back in, Öftedal helps herself to the easy pickings. There was the goal at one end. But a quick pass down the middle. Öftedal was screaming for it. Undeterred, they go back again to the 7-6 attack. Goalkeeper's out again. 
But all credit to them, they really are taking the game to the Norwegians. That's off the post. Unlucky. Shinunjo scored just one so far in the game from four attempts now. If Tadal just checks to make sure she's got someone behind, she has. Bakarud has arrived. Effectively, it's gone back to being a 5-1 defence, helped by the fact that the Norwegians are putting in a winger as a second-line player to flatten it, and that's going to make life easier for them because it's a two-minute suspension. The line player goes off, Kang Yun he and it'll force them back to a 5 nil, Hanging on from behind. There was only one sanction possible for the referees. Twelve minutes to go. Into the wing. And they're having a feast here, the uh, Norwegians. Christmas has come early. Malin Ona. Near post. The bells are ringing. So, well, the short handed goalkeeper is out again, but uh, this time it just uh, evens the odds. Oh, and fumbled right at the end. There's an empty goal if they just want to look up. And they haven't done it. Missed the opportunity this time. They're all pointing up court, but uh, no one seemed to glance that way. And it's a turnover. Bit of a let off for the South Koreans who uh, take out the goalkeeper straight away. Both you and he being given a little bit of a breather. She has worked her socks off in this game. 41 and a half minutes of playtime for the right back. Six goals. Looking for the shot, no way through there for Han Misul. He's uh, not really managed to uh, get a shot away at goal. And, uh, team timeout, South Korea. Tired arms and legs there will be grateful for the break as Kang Che Won presses the button. For a break. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, going all right for the Norwegians. I hope he's uh, brought something to wipe that off with. So the uh, Koreans have used up their second team timeout, one left for them, two for the Norwegians. They used one early. They were struggling, and then that seemed to set things right. Passive play is being called against the South Koreans now. They've got about three passes left, don't need them. Over you in here again. Seventh goal. Looking for the wing. Camila Herem coming on. A few more changes. <laughs> Oftedal goes hunting. And off by Skorgheim, long range shot. Emily Anson scores with the second shot of the game. moment uh, he's really scored but had three assists so far and here Gerson is happy with that 
about nine minutes of the match remaining. Straight into the keeper. That will count as save number 16. They've managed to get the goalkeeper back in again as Oftedal bears down into the wing. Camilla Heron. And that's beautifully scored. First goal of the game for the 33-year-old. Most experienced player in their team. Arrived here with 630 goals to her name. She's now scored another 26 here in Japan. So all smiles for the Norwegians. Eight goals in front and uh, looking quite serene. Koreans are fighting hard. Briefly got it back to five, but it's uh, reopening now. Oh, bounced it too high. Han Misul. Back play gone in on the line. Beautifully done by Heidi Lucker. A little skip on the spot to uh, check herself from stepping over the line. Nice supply by Tomak, who's literally just come back on. Oh dear, and Kang Che Wan's day is not getting any better. And she's not helping his day either, Solberg, with 16 saves. Look at who scored all three of her shots. And uh, Solberg does it again, save number 17. Improve her statistics. She came into the match, uh, Solberg, with a 38% save rate. Tomac. Looks to the line. Maintains a 100% record, Heidi Lurker with the fourth goal. Seven minutes remaining. Moved across the back, no communication whatsoever to warn anyone that she was behind them. She just runs across and has so much space. Goalkeeper must be so frustrated, Pak Se Jung. Looks to the line. Clever play because uh, you were never going to turn the line player. And Yi Ming Yong passes quickly to Kim Seon Hua, who gets her second. But still, though, the uh, Norwegians are slowly but surely pressing ahead now, having cruised along with six, seven goal lead. They're piling on the pressure. Three back-to-back -back goals by Heidi Lurker. She's only been on court 19 minutes. Norwegians have been swapping the line players around, Bratzet and Lurker. With no interruption of service whatsoever. Two on the line, three on the line briefly. Not sure if they're meant to do that. 46% success rate only on their shooting. The uh, South Koreans have taken out the goalkeeper once more as they try seven against six. The empty goal is there if she just wants to look up. Again, she passes it to Herem. And Herem beats uh, Pak Se Jung with no defenders around. Herem, who's uh, scored 17 fast breaks leading into this game, now on 19. And that's. Uh, 19 from 20 taken. She's only missed one. Five minutes to go then in the match. You and he. Bit of space. Oh, she hesitated. And there was no one on the outside because they've got the goalkeeper out at the moment. She went back in and uh, it's the wing who substituted. Now through. First goal of the game for Han Misul. He missed the last World Championships, but uh, played in 2015, breaks through. 
Her end couldn't do anything about it. She'll be giving away a penalty and a potential two-minute suspension as she was inside the area. So Tomac being given a good run out in the uh, centre. Harem. Solid defending there by Sim Hayin, who throws herself at her. Veteran of uh, four world championships, Sim Hayin. And we've got a uh, call from the table. They've blown the whistle. The referee's come across, and it's going to be a yellow card. I think the frustration getting to Kan Che won, and he said something to the table. I have some sympathy with him, but uh, he is an absolute gentleman, nicest person you could meet. He's also one of the uh, greatest players of his generation. But uh, today, the players have just been too tired, and Norway set out their stall early, playing at a very fast pace. They've turned the bench comfortably. And uh, they've ended up being the ones who've run the Koreans off the court. Looking for the feed in. Surely that was inside. It's given. Tomac gets a second goal. The Kempe was extremely low. And uh, I thought she was uh, well down. No, she actually did manage to lift her legs. Did very well, effectively. Swiveled herself, forged to get the shot before she landed. That's well taken. Goalkeeper is out once more as they attack seven against six. Two and a half minutes to go. Looking for the line. Well, Kang Eun Hee has put in a huge shift on the line, the uh, Korean. It has not been easy. She's played for nearly 38 minutes of the match. Do you and he nearly intercepted pass to the wing, hesitated. Kim Seon Hua could have gone in there. Long range shot, that's gone in though. Sim Hayen. But they couldn't get the keeper in quick enough, and once more it's an easy goal for Brodset straight from the throw off. If there's one thing you can be certain of is that the Norwegians will not miss those uh, chances on the throw off. They missed a couple on turnovers when they haven't quite looked up, but not that time. Rod set five from six. We've got just over a minute and a half remaining. Looks for the line, takes the shot, defenders inside the area, so that gives a penalty. Two minutes suspension for Tomac. There was one more defender. It's the one from behind. It's been given as a free throw only. Just crashing down. Well, that'll be the end of the game for Tomac because uh, there are not two minutes left in the match. Little breakthrough. Yi Ming Yong using the last of her energy there for a sixth goal. Well, I've done it down. It's actually her. Uh, Seventh, it says six on the official screen. Either way, she has put in a big shift. Into the last minute, then. Norwegians have also taken out their goalkeeper. Oh, they are short handed into the side netting. There's an empty goal, but uh, Pedersen is racing back in. And a save, first save for Peterson, who's replaced Solberg. She'll be very happy. Peterson, who plays for Vaux Elite, he's here after uh, Lunde and Grimsbo, the other two keepers who would have been on the squad normally, picked up injuries. And we've got about 15 seconds to run the clock down and get the last shot. And there it is. Pile driver of a shot from Celia Vorder, 25 year old. And that is it. Norway have won emphatically here. The last goal, a spectacular jump shot from Vorder at 74 kilometers an hour.
And that is that. Norway had beaten South Korea 36-24. Well, the South Koreans who played such fantastic handball in this competition, but it was always known that with the intensity and pace they play and the fact they rely mainly on eight or nine players, it was going to catch up with them. And today it caught up with them, and not least because they found an on-form Norwegian team here who had an absolute festival out there. Well, Uftedal, absolutely the right choice for the player of the match. Seven goals from nine attempts, nine assists. And she played for nearly 41 minutes of the game. They've actually had 23 assists, the Norwegians, collectively. Turning over the uh, Koreans 11 times. Smiles all round. And for Norway, well, this means they remain in control of their fate for that place in the semi-final. I'm afraid for the South Koreans, the semi-final place has disappeared, having come into this... Uh, main round as a group winners, but the problem was for them, as much as anything else, that the teams are qualified with them were Germany and Denmark, and that was two draws only, so just a couple of points. They would have probably preferred that France rather than Denmark. They've beaten them. But Norway can celebrate here today. They uh, won that emphatically. It was close for about eight or nine minutes. And then a 5-0 by Norway set the scene. And they utterly walked away with this. Pose for the photo, traditionally, with their fans grouped opposite the bench, and uh, oh, on the right there is uh, Mare Breivik, former coach of the team, together with Thorin Hergeson, the current coach. He was her assistant when she was in charge, hugely successful. Between them, they really have taken Norway on a wonderful journey. So the win means that Norway are top of the group uh, tonight with one round of matches left for these teams, and you can see how close it is. Korea, the only team really who are completely out of it. Denmark effectively are, but mathematically there is a formula, but it would need specific results. The reality is you've got four teams in contention. So for Norway, then 62% of the attack, 70% of their shots were working. The Koreans well below par today, under 50% on their shooting, just wouldn't do it. They got no fast breaks out of it. The Norwegians, the masters here at these World Championships, got eight from nine. And the uh, nine suspensions for the Koreans as those tired legs and arms committed so many mistakes and got uh, to pay the price for it, while the Norwegians had just two suspensions in the game. Öftedal then top scorer with her seven goals, but also nine assists, while uh, Ryu and he was the top of the uh, Koreans with seven goals of her own, while Yi Ming-yong put in a great shift to get her six goals as well. Let's not forget Luka and Bradset getting uh, five goals apiece on the line. They got superb service from the backs. So the shots for the Koreans, one fast break only. The uh, Norwegians just too quick for them today. They missed their only penalty. The wings not really seeing the service. It was all down the middle. The long-range shooting at times worked, but it was all a lot of individual efforts out there today, I'm afraid. For the Norwegians, eight fast breaks then, that one penalty scored, and a nice spread across all the positions. The wing got good service, the line got excellent service, and some long-range shooting that was quite spectacular to behold, including the last shot of the game from Voda. So the Koreans, they came back quick. They had a good spell. The black dots at the top, you can see they outscored the Norwegians in the first 10 minutes. But the uh, Norwegians just kept it steady and then in the last 10 minutes accelerated again. And the uh, Koreans were nowhere near them in the end on the scoreline, but the harm was all done in the first half. The final score then here in Kumamoto, Norway 36, South Korea 25. Hope you've enjoyed the game. That's it from us tonight. Thanks for watching. And until next time, for me, Paul Bray, good night.
まずは国際ハンドボール連盟レフリー競技役員の Time. 